Let's go. I just realized that James Borrego was still our coach. So let's get rid of that. He's not good um, overall wise. And we're gonna bring in a coach that is better. So that's that's the way I'm thinking. That should help us at least a little bit. Oh, my dude, AB the hero. What's up? Well, we getting it down in the ball of state, baby. Hey, hey. AB, way to get out of the lane. <laughs> How'd you get out of the lane? What do you thought about that, Jay? Let's go. I'm out. <laughs> What's good YouTube, it's your main man, AB The Hero, back again with a, another video, and uh, in today's video, I, I feel like I got a, a, a good one for y'all today, because um, we've got your man QOT4Q, um, I, I always say that wrong sometimes, let me see, let me see, QOT4Q, yeah, so basically my dog does these videos where he, um, We'll do some simulations and things on NBA 2K. Doesn't really play the game too much, but we'll make these different front office moves, trading players, doing things with coaches, free agency drafting, and all of that stuff. Taking teams who probably don't necessarily have a chance to win a, a, a title and, and simulating and doing things to make them get to a title. And so he does something like that with LaMelo and the Charlotte Hornets, and we're gonna talk about that. But before we get into that, man, Make sure y'all subscribe and hit the notification bell for the channel. We appreciate it. We've been growing lately. We've been growing. Y'all been showing up and showing out. My man has hit the 7,000 sub mark, and I appreciate it. It's because of you all. And as you can see, it's even higher than that. Um, y'all been coming through. Be part of that. See that last 60? That's it. Ah! Help me help us grow. We're trying to get to that 10,000 mark and uh, we're gonna get into this video So what we're gonna do is this is like probably the last five minutes of this video We'll probably watch some of this and, and talk about it and before we get into this I, I want to say this is a what I would call a disclaimer. Let me let me get back to to big screen so I can uh, I want to say this and look me in my eyes I am not the type of dude who is like calling for people's jobs. I'm not saying go fire James Borrego, all of that stuff. I, I think I'm more of a, the guy, AB the hero is more the guy who is like, learn. Let's all help James Borrego be better so he can grow and everybody can grow around him. However, I do realize two things. Um, in sports, when it comes to players a lot, you see folks be like, yo, he trash, trade him, get rid of him. And Stephen A was just talking about how Kyrie need to retire. We hear this all of the time in sports. You get to a certain wall and players can be expendable. So I'm never upset when I hear folks in the comment section saying, James got to get up out of here. Because if you go through my comments, it's a lot of James Borrego need to be fired type of action, right? But I'm also the guy who, like I said, I'm, I'm about, you know, I mean, growth and, and like, let's learn and let's do all of this stuff. So this video is not me calling for James to be fired. I'm just saying, hypothetically, in a simulated world, it could be beneficial for the, the Charlotte Hornets if, if they were to pull that trigger on them. But let's get into it, all right. So, uh, before I hit play, I wanna catch you up. So, in, in this simulation, the idea was, uh, Melo had just got drafted. He didn't even have a jersey number yet. You see him here in the, the double zeros. He had just got drafted to the Charlotte Hornets. So my man QOT4Q uh, wanted to do what he could to get Melo his first championship. That required him adjusting the roster and uh, let me see if I can. Yeah, here we go. That required him making some changes to the roster and all of that stuff. He went and got Jason Tatum, Bradley Bill, uh, Kelly Olenek, um, uh, Mo Harkless, Trey Burke, all of these guys that kept P.J. Washington and they kept Devontae Graham. Now here's where things get interesting, is that at the beginning when he first got there, one of the number one things that this guy did the games on 2K, what he decided he needed to do was, I've got, uh, Devontae Graham and I got Terry Rozier. I got to move one of them because Melo in the starting lineup. First thing that he decided to do, he ended up moving Rozier. And like I said, this is before the season started. Ended up moving Rozier because his contract was bigger and, and felt like, you know, clearing that cap space would let him be able to make some of the moves that he eventually went on to make. Um, Devontae Graham 
right away started coming off the bench and we see his production in here 17 points a game uh seven assists being in line with what they kind of are expecting from him right now with uh you know hayward and rozier and that starting lineup with them Melo got into the starting lineup only averaging uh what is it 12 points a game in their last game uh 10 assists and all that stuff six rebounds rebounds a little bit low but it, that he even talked about that that's how i know the dude kind of know what he'd be talking about is when he was looking at Melo's initial stats he was surprised that his rebounding was lower and this is before any game started and so that's the context to look at this video in but let's get into it with the first i think that was trent peterson that we picked up huge win for him in uh his oh. first game let's do this all right sorry wrong, wrong, wrong all right here we go this team is magnificent first game of the season pacers is a loss no big deal malcolm brogdon gave us that work second game rematch pacers is a loss no big deal. Malcolm Brogdon gave us that work. He's on the road to be the MVP of the season. Game three, let him home. So at this point, your boy uh, James Borrego is still the coach. They got all of these studs on the squad and they catching L's. No big deal. Uh, <laughs> I, I promise, I promise I'm not, I'm not tripping over it at all. 76ers, first win of the season. Okay, there we go. We just needed the first win under our belt. Look, now we're about to go on a nice little win streak. What'd I tell you? We got to go on a nice little win streak. Washington again, they're bad. Yep. Here we go. Jason Tatum, average of 21. Bradley Beal, average of 21. Yep, we're ready. We ready. Let's go. That's up, man. I just realized that James Borrego was still our coach. So let's get rid of that. He's not good um, overall wise. And we're going to bring in a coach that is better. So that's, that's the way I'm thinking. That should help us at least a little bit. We're going against Denver. Now, what we get to see from here is whether 2K like even cares, right? The, your coach, does this even matter based on what you're winning and losing and all that stuff? Let's get into it. Now, the Hornets were struggling. They was on a bit of a little winning streak there, but they started the season struggling, starting to get this together. Got a new coach. Now, let's see what the outcome is. Burr in a huge win with the first, I think that was Trent Peterson that we picked up. 136 to 79. A huge win for him in uh, his first game. Suns are next. Big win. Uh, yeah, okay, so I guess coaching does matter to some extent because we fire our coach and immediately go on a nice little four game. Um, so I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We're third in the conference, fifth in the power rankings, and it looks like we can't lose. Yep, yes, Pacers, we beat y'all finally. Then we go against the Nets. Oh, oh, we're beating the Nets by 40. This is the Nets with Durant and uh, Irvin dropped by 40. Uh, this is be pre the Harden trade though. We're winning the championship. Bradley Beal, go crazy, Bradley. Go crazy. Lamelo's even better this season. Come on, dog. Rudy Gobert. Mm. What's it? Luca, 36 point triple double to, to end the season. Barely though. Exactly 10 so, so I fast forward. He already he just simmed to the end of the the end of the season. So this here it is. So that last game of the season, he might be like. Hey, let me get that assist. Shoot that ball. Shoot that ball. Shoot that ball. Uh, Frank Barnes, who was the fifth pick in this year's draft wins rookie of the year. Marquise Chris, sixth man of the year, back with the Suns. Okay, he's got some more stability there. Mm. Um, John, right. but elite, the elite playoff. rebounder. From just 9 of 15 in a single season. And our coach, and that's, that's supposedly me. Doesn't it look like me? Dang, so they moved the coach. All of a sudden, he went coach of the year. Let me see if I can get back oh, wait, to that. smell. Let's single see. season 68 and 14 i'm just saying it sounds like the coach matters and our coach and that's that's supposedly me doesn't it look like me but that's like the gm award or whatever oh wait he's not smiling that's me okay uh all nba teams trey young i don't understand how they all right let's keep forward we traded for the 90s playoffs. big big thing second season averages uh 16 point Mellow in a simulated world starting lineup. They got his averages right here 16 points, uh, eight assists, five boards. <sighs> I think that in the real life world, you're gonna see maybe 16 points might be a, a decent average or, a, or a, a, a solid place to go with Mellow in the starting lineup. I, I don't believe so. I believe he scored a bit more than that. I believe that the assists and the rebounds per game are a bit higher um, as well based on what we've seen as him trending off the bench. 
he right now he almost is creeping up on 16 points a game in in limited minutes off the bench so you put him in that starting lineup and no telling what's going to happen 8.7, 8.2 assists, shot the ball way better. Vontae off the bench, average 15. He should have been a conversation for six man of the year. And Rudy Go Vontae off the bench, average of 16. Could be six man of the year. And folks keep talking about Vontae being in this uh, contract year and all of that stuff. Bro, being a six man of the year, that's some value right there. Ask Lou Williams how much how much bread he making and the Montrez Harold being consistently great guys who, who can score and give you minutes off the bench. Their average is 8 and 11. I'm fine. Just play great defense. I don't even care if you score. And then look at that. Mo Harkless. We brought him in for his defense and he didn't score. First, oh, the Bulls. They have the. All right, so we in the playoffs now. Theodore. Oh, they drafted Theodore. And Markel Fultz is on the team. The Bulls made the playoffs. They losing, though. I love y'all, but y'all losing, baby. Let's just do this, man. We ain't got to. All right, here we go. The heck that Swept is. the first two rounds uh, and then beat the Brooklyn Nets 4-1. Game one. Get. And here's what I thought was crazy at first. Damn, Hornets versus Pelicans. Are you telling me Lonzo versus uh, LaMelo in the NBA championships by year two in this simulated world? But the crazy shit is Lonzo was already traded from the Pelicans uh, in this simulated world. Game so we two. did not even get the hype championship game that I thought we had, you know what I mean, from just watching this. Three, and the Charlotte Hornets are NBA champions with Jason Tatum averaging 35 points in the finals. That is the big, might be the biggest trade of 2K21 for us. And that's the rebuild, y'all. And that's the rebuild, y'all. Tell me what you think. Is this a, <laughs> could the real Charlotte Hornets have a similar level of growth and success making similar changes that we've seen them do in this simulated world in this video game or maybe i'm tripping who knows you know what i'm saying maybe my man qot4q is tripping uh I, I just thought that was interesting i thought it was interesting and i wanted to share that with y'all i almost just posted a little clip and was like let me sit this here for y'all but I, I wanted to talk and, and let me know in the comments let me know what you think are you of the belief that um james borrego should be fired james borrego should keep the job where are you at with that uh let me know what y'all think it's your main man ab the hero and we out no not peace plus one triple b's we out